Welcome to the SimScale platform. In this quick tutorial, we'll show you how to set up a static structural analysis of a bench vise. The focus of this tutorial is to show how complete CAD assemblies can be analyzed rather than analyzing a simple part. After having created a new project, we switch to the Mesh Creator, click on Upload a new CAD model and upload the CAD assembly as a step file. As soon as the upload is finished, the CAD assembly is shown in 3D within the viewer. You can see in the scene tree in the top right that this CAD assembly consists out of four solids. You can use the scene tree to isolate a single solid or to click on the faces and to manage the scene that is currently displayed. This will be useful later when we assign contacts between, between the single solids. So the next step is to create a mesh for this assembly. We will use a very simple auto tet operation that takes care of the complete assembly and meshes each solid. In this auto tet operation there are not many parameters. We will just use a first order element, we could also use second order, but in this case for this tutorial we will stick to the first order elements. And as you can see in the lower left, the operation gets started and the job status shows us what's going on in the cloud. As soon as the mesh is ready, we can review it, but we'll skip that in this point and we we'll just go on to the simulation setup within the simulation designer. First thing to do after creating a new simulation is choosing the analysis type. In this case, we'll go with a simple static analysis. The navigator shows what the next steps are. In this case, the red dot indicates that we have to de decide on a domain. Here, we will use the mesh that we just created within the mesh creator. The next thing is that we set up face sets where we can apply boundary conditions later on. So we will use these two faces to apply a pressure, pressure load later. And this, the holes at the bottom of this part will be fixed. Make sure that you reach all the faces. After having marked these faces, again, create set and we'll give that the name fix. Within the domain tree item, we can assign contacts between the single solids. We will not go into detail here, but how it basically works is that you add a new contact, you assign the two faces, which are master and slave faces, and then you're good to go. In this case, we will go with one simple fixed contact, so you can so you can choose on the contact type that you want to use. The next step is to assign the gravitation load. Then moving on to the materials, in this case, we will dynamically add a standard steel as a material. Here we could dig into the different material models that are available on SimScale, but for this we will go with a simple linear static linear elastic material model, and we assign this material to all the solids of the of this assembly. We could have also used the pick vo volumes feature of the viewer and assign them. Saving completes the definition of this material. The next step is the boundary condition definition. In this case, we will assign a fixed boundary condition on the fix faces that we defined a minute ago. Choosing face sets shows load and fix, the two face sets that we just created. And to define the load case, we will add a force boundary condition and assign a static pressure load to the two faces that we called load. Here we will assign three bar and then we're basically good to go. On the numerics, we can change the linear systems equation solver. Here we will go with an iterative one rather than a direct. Here on the simulation control, we can choose on the type of machine that we want to use. For this simple analysis, we will use a simple one core and then we create a run, which basically means we snapshot. We make a snapshot of the simulation setup that we just created. Starting the run actually fires up the machine in the cloud and the simulation is carried out. Again, the job status box in the lower left keeps us updated what's going on with our simulation run. Since we chose an iterative solver to solve the linear system, we can later review the convergence behavior of the residual. And here we can see that we reached the convergence criterion in the last step. 
In order to further analyze the results that you generated in this simulation, you can either download the results and use a local post-processing software, or you can use the integrated post-processing environment of SimScale. To do so, click on the post-processor tab in the top bar. Within the post-processor, the navigator bar on the left has the entry solution fields. This immediately shows you the computed solution fields of the simulation. Here we can see the stress field of this benchwise under the static pressure load. You can use filter mechanisms to further post-process the results and to create other visualizations of the solution fields. This gives you insights into the performance of your design and gives you the ability to draw informed design decisions. This already concludes this tutorial. If you want to have a more detailed look onto this project that we just set up, please feel free to go to the public project library of SimScale where you can just import this project. Thanks again for watching.